Hey there, good morning everybody. So you want to serve a crowd wondering what to serve or maybe you're looking for a great dinner for tonight and then you'll have leftovers throughout the week. I've got a, a great idea. Something different. How about barbecue pulled pork sandwiches? Doesn't that sound good? Sure sounds good to me. Well, we're going to start with making the sauce and the, the great thing about this recipe is you can do the whole thing in the, the slow cooker. So you could start it out this morning and it'll be done by dinner tonight or it's a great thing to do before you go to work in the morning. Um, you know, throw it together in the morning, you come home from work, it'll all be done. Great game day recipe too. So we're starting out, we're going to make the, the sauce, a homemade barbecue sauce, and we're doing one and a half cups of ketchup. Then we've got one and a half cups of your favorite barbecue sauce. I like using the idea of some ketchup in here because, you know, then it just doesn't taste like store-bought barbecue sauce. We're basically going to jazz that store-bought barbecue sauce up. We also are going to add some Worcestershire sauce, a couple tablespoons of that. I've got some garlic powder, some paprika, some diced onions. I like to finely dice up, there's about one onion, um, that way my kids don't know they're really in there. Then I've got about a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, kind of got the sweet and sour thing going on, a little bit of mustard, just whatever you have in the fridge, doesn't have to be any kind of special kind of mustard, and then to sweeten this all up, some brown sugar. Mm. Looking good already. So you just whisk that together in the bottom of your slow cooker. And if you don't have a slow cooker, you could also do this in your oven. So just whisk it together in an, maybe a 9 by 13 or your favorite casserole dish. Now at this point, we're going to put a nice big pork roast in here and make sure you get a big enough roast or a couple of them because let me tell you, it really shrinks down after it cooks. This happens to be about a four, even up to a six pound pork loin roast. But really, any kind of pork roast will do. A lot of people in the South, they like the, the pork butt or the pork shoulder. So whatever's on sale, stock up on it. Just make sure you have plenty because this is going to feed a crowd. It also freezes great, makes great leftovers. So at this point, we want to put the lid on our slow cooker and turn it on low, cook it all day, low and slow for eight to 10 hours. Or if you want to crank up the heat and get it down a little bit quicker, you can put it on high and it'll cook uh, anyway between you know four to six hours. When it starts to be fork tender, then you know it's ready. So you can take it out of your slow cooker and kind of shred it up with a fork. Doesn't this look delicious? And then you can put it back in your slow cooker, maybe add some extra barbecue sauce or serve extra barbecue sauce on the side. But this is what it needs to do, and this is how you know it's ready. Just pulls right apart. That's why they call it pulled pork. And again, your house smells so good when you're making this. And it's a great way to serve a whole bunch of people without you having to be in the kitchen the whole time. So just pile that on some great nice buns or hard rolls, serve it with baked beans, potato salad, chips, coleslaw, whatever kind of side you like, cheesy hash brown potato casserole, something like that. And let me tell you, your family is going to love this recipe.